Okay, everyone is everyone is done with their R and R and break in Sidonia. Let's go. Things for you. Dialing in your weapon for maximum efficiency. Smart.
Ship's clear and the sky is calling to us. Ship's clear and the sky is calling to us, says who? <laughs> We're in orbit, Captain. Return to the Red Devil's HQ. Another suit walk, eh? Good. Let's have some fun. Need some work? Anything I can help you with? Sure, have at it. What? Minus one? Hmm. Living quarters, battle stations. Captain's quarters. Kaiser. Huh. I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion. Londinian. What? Londinian. Londinian. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. From what I understand. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. Londinian, uh, from what I from what I understand, it is the first and only large-scale terramorph attack that has happened, right? During the and it happened during the colony war. Mission like this, you want to bring out the big guns? Don't you fret, we'll be there. Kaiser looks like he's been to hell and back. Fitting for an old devil. Kaiser looks like he's been to hell and back. I will be ready. Fitting for an old devil. Can I? Can I? Can I recruit him so Vasco can can have a friend? We will rendezvous at Londinian. 
can have a robot friend, I mean. Pardon. So, only Percival and Hadrian that return to the oh, HQ. I doubt very much we can survive at this low of a temperature. What about the other Red Devils? I guess they have nothing to do with this. Like Louis Saavedra, uh, Andrew Robillard and many other Red Devils. Well, not many other, but other Red Devils whose pictures uh, are shown in the Sixth Circle Bar. Where are they? Oh, what? They already captured terror morphs? Where did they capture these guys? Oh. Okay. Hello. Xenobiologist. Sorry, I should really try and get this wrapped up. This is quite an impressive research facility. When it comes to the study of the terror morph, the red devils are sparing no expense. The two of us make quite the pair by love. Kind of shocked the major got reinstated, considering what her father did. Oh, these red devils—they work fast. Yes. What? Already they procured terrormorphs. Interesting. So I'm guessing the other red devils are involved in, ex in you know, finding and recovering terrormorph specimens, while Percival and Hadrian. Uh, stay here for the research stuff. And what about the other guy? Oh yeah, he's, he's not the Red Devil. What's his name again? Uh, Gaulter, Gaulter Avesedo, Gualter, Gualter Avesedo. Okay. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Achilles? Wait, there is a thing that eats a terramorphs? Yeah, we heard this. Take that as a no then. Yes, there are. Apparently the Achilles were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Achilles were chosen to fill in the gaps. Ah. Uh. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're <gasps> proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course. Using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Hmm. Are these Asilis things dangerous? If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. Okay, so during the Colony War, synthetic food runs slow, so they, they turn to Asilis. Could Asilis really clean up whole worlds like you're describing? All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding, which is important because we did some cross-referencing in the Terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, Terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, 
Aseelis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. Yeah, we still don't know how terror morphs spread to other planets. I want to know how. Not sure I like the idea of introducing random aliens to human worlds across the galaxy. Well, there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. I prefer the Asilis. What if, what if the microbes evolved and start attacking other life forms, not just terror morphs? Too many X factors. I mean, Asilis also has an X factor to them, but at least I think it is easier to 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 find and track down Asilis than to combat microbes. What kind of risks are there with this microbe? Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Besides, if Aselis thrives, not only they clean up terror morphs, but humans can also use them as a source of food. So I think using Aselis is the best option. And who exactly is going to be doing all this work, dispersing the microbe or the Aselis? Well, that's still not a hundred percent. But it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Aselis. Definitely Aselis. Then let's discuss how we make this plans a reality. That sounds like you're playing with fire. I vote for the Aselis. Inclined that way myself. With either path though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seelie's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Okay. The planet overrun by terror morphs. Isn't that suicide? It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's going to put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Are we even allowed on Londinian? <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. Londinian had an Aselis population. It was the central hub for Aselis processing during the colony war. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Aselis were first found there. The planet it's on, Tolemon II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, 
The outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. If this is what it's going to take. I think this... This is the answer we've been looking for. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Sarah Khatoum. Okay, why why did Sarah dislike Darko's decision to use um, Aselis? Aselis. Clean up Terramorph and growing another food source for humans. Why not? Oh yeah, I think... Did I heard a Vanguard talk about it? I think when I was in New Atlantis, I heard a Vanguard guy talk about his ship getting shot up when battling uh, enemies then he crash landed on uh, Toliman too the only reason he survived because he managed to reach the marine outpost there or something Wait, where is Vasco? I don't, I don't see Vasco. Did something happen to Vasco? He is assigned to the ship, right? He is. Good to be back on board. Hell of 
overview from here. Tuliman. Of limits, why? Tolomon 2 is a biological exclusion zone. Nothing down there but terror morphs and UC soldiers keeping an eye on them. Best course of action is to leave while you're still able. Are you going to stop me from landing? No, but if you proceed, no one will be coming to rescue you. So do us all a favor and jump back to safe harbor. Now. I'm clear to be here. I'm meeting with Commander Hatum. Let me check my logs. <laughs> Alright, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Oh, come on. Don't stand in front of me. You're cleared. Head straight Sam. to the base. We'll let the commander know you're inbound. Proceed to the landing zone and be how, careful. How do I cancel the lock? Proceed to the landing zone and be careful. Okay, oh, never mind. Sam, Sam already moved away. Why would they stand in front of me? Strange looking ship, but I mean, as long as we're fighting in space, there is no drag. Just don't, just don't use this ship to fight in atmosphere. That would be not good, I think. Forward base four four one. What is it? Space Camel? Starting landing procedure. Everyone, keep keep your guards up. Remember, this is Terror Morph Country. Londinian. You're at safe out there. I don't know, but how can I be of service, Captain? So this is Londinian. I've heard the stories, but I've never seen it with my own eyes.
Guard Robot Dogs Sarah Hatum No oh, turrets. You with the Xeno unit? Head to command. Far end of the compound. I'll send the rest of your team along once they arrive. Man post is at the far end of the compound inside the old Terra Brew. Terra Brew? What? They have Terra Brew? What? They have cof uh, a coffee shop chain in this place? Commander's expecting you. I wouldn't keep her waiting. I'll send the rest of your team along once they arrive. Wait, who is that? Oh, someone's... Doing target practice? Okay. Heard you're going out there willingly. Damn. Don't go into the city much, and never for long. Too risky. Can't chit-chat right now. You have one for me, all right? Word of advice while you're out there. Don't trust what the voices tell you. You have one for me, all right? Yeah, let me explore this forward base 441. Seem an interesting place. Okay. Someone need to clean this up. This is dangerous, you know? If this falls off and hits someone's head, they could die. Oh, over here, okay. They are guarding the front gate, but no one's guarding this place. What if, what if the terror morphs attack through here? Then they are going to get inside the base. No, no, no defense at all. This, this, this area is a huge security hole. What the fuck? This spot there is a huge security hole. Not only this spot, but everything higher, everything higher than the ground is is a threat. What if the terror morphs start going in droves over here and, and then jump down? The base will be overrun. Okay, they have a guard have dog. A on the on, on the rooftop, I see. Right now. I believe you're wanted elsewhere, Captain. Later. Right now, you've got important business. Check in with the commander. You and I will chat soon enough. Oh. I believe you're wanted elsewhere, Captain. Are these fences even going to stop terror morphs? If they get inside. If they get in.
Terra Brew Coffee. Oh, I don't think. Yeah, okay, my mistake. I was mistaken. I thought they have a coffee shop chain in a military base, but I think the military is using what's uh, what's left of a city or a settlement as a as a base. Chunks, of course. Looking for the lock to the city? Through there. Don't go into the city much, and never for long. Too risky. Lock? You mean airlock? Okay. Oh, an Arsili statue, I think. Eklund's shipbuilders. Reliant Reliant Medical Okay, one gravity Terra Brew Coffee Bakery Donuts Desserts Fresh Coffee Espresso Grinding Tamping Brewing Pickup Commander Hatum. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team, then I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. I'm just here for a coffee. Black to sugars, please. Hmm. Deflection. Lovely. 
nervous then. I certainly wouldn't blame you. Well, perhaps I'll just get my answer from them instead. Commander Hatoum, I... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. Can I also presume he's with you? Oh, uh, the captain? Yes, ma'am. Couldn't do this without him. Hmm. Then let's not waste any more time. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Can you tell us what we're going to face out there? Terramorphs, and plenty of them. Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. You wouldn't even send a rescue party. We are unwanted guests on this planet and, as a rule, I don't put my people in any more risk than is absolutely necessary. We've got it hard enough out here. So, no, there will be no cavalry sweeping into the rescue. If a Victus bomb this place, why would he do that? The initial Terramorph outbreak that overran Londinian during the tail end of the Colony War came as a complete shock. Waves of the creatures appeared out of nowhere, and the city was quickly overwhelmed. There were some attempts at evacuation, but Ve Victus decided more definitive action was merited. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, ensuring no other ships could leave the city, halting the spread of the outbreak but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning countless lives. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? So Francois thought that the Terramors can latch onto spaceships then? If that was his reasoning for bombing the spaceport? Hmm. The initial Terramorph outbreak, waves of the creatures appeared. There were some attempts at evacuation. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, halting the spread of the outbreak but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning count. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? Okay, maybe they think this thought. What if those ships who flee, who fled, maybe some terramors got inside their cargo? Maybe that's what he feared? Hmm. However, according to Percival Walker, the sample of Terramorph we got from Tau Ceti, it has no signature of having sat on a ship, so it got there another way. In other words, they victims bombing the spaceport, condemning countless lives, was unnecessary. It didn't do anything. It didn't. It didn't do anything to. Sp to hold the spread of Terramorph. Maybe at the time they didn't have that information. So, I don't know. Understood, ma'am. Don't expect backup. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceli's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? 
Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. You can pinpoint the location of the samples all the way from here. Pinpoint's a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. Ready when you are. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Would have jumped to be out there with you. 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. We're all counting on you out there. Kaiser and Hadrian especially. Cold feet? <laughs> Who could blame you? I'll keep you all heading in the right direction out there. We're all counting on you out there. Kaiser and Hadrian especially. Let's get to business then, shall we? The cabinet sent me. They wanted you to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. You see Navy. Micro gun? What is that? Heard your Good hunting. Damn. The finest tools for the finest operatives. What is this micro gun? Oh, like a mini gun. Plus 30% damage against aliens, long barrel, laser sight, tactical grip, tactical magazine. Okay. Micro gun. Sentinels refine, you see, anti Xeno spacesuit. Physical 108. 136. This is weaker. This is weaker. Incendiary 60, 58, 62. This is weaker. <laughs> Explorers calibrated uh, Orion laser rifle. I'll take it, why not? Word of advice while you're out there don't trust. Transfers complete. Those codes will allow you to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. Systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Duly noted, Commander. Someone's always watching the gate. You can come and go as needed. There's a field cache in the Asili's plant just outside the barriers, if you need a quick resupply. My soldiers and I would appreciate it if you try not to draw too much attention to yourselves out there. Someone's always watching the gate. You can come and go as needed. Chit chat right now. We should not delay. Wait, are you nervous? 
Yeah, just pre-mission jitters. You hear about a place for so long, it maybe gets bigger in your head than it should be. But you don't need to worry about me. I I'll be all right. Now, are we doing this or not? I'm ready. Then let's get this show on the road. Kaiser, Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate when ready. Recon protocols active. No hostiles detected by near range sensors. Situation normal. Recon protocols active. Old processing plant past the shipyard. Okay. What? That creature. It's dominated. Must be a morph nearby, keeping it under its sway. Let's put it down. Four of them. Clean them up. What? of those samples from here? Yes, they're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can. Jackpot. The, the power is still on and it's been 20 years huh the power source technology in this era is very excellent yeah What is this? A chair with a hole? <laughs> to, 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 take, uh, to take a shit? I don't know. In a container. Okay.
Albino Terromorph. Terromorph. Talk to you again soon, darling. Those over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. Then we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Where do we go? Wait, where do we go next? Oh, there? Okay. Hope Tech? Okay. Oh yeah, this just reminds me of something. Ambassador Evangeline Radcliffe wants to be in, this, in the Council of Governors. 
but the council declined because they don't want to add more seed. So she was thinking of assassinating a governor by the name of Elias. Now with Ron Hope dead, I guess Radcliffe's aspiration to be in the Council of Governors will become a reality then. Okay. Worker. Londinian steam tunnels. Ah, oh, my day just got a whole lot right. Have something for me? This this isn't the round. I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Stay sharp. Clear from here. No contacts. Clear from here. Situation normal. No hostiles detected by near range sensors. So how how did Kaiser know about the tunnel beneath the city? Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. <sighs> a real marvel. These things, Lazarus plants, okay. Cannot be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. Huh, why though? these leeches what's keeping you things warm let's find out then what's keeping them warm maybe it's terror morfusi no terror morfusi yeah maybe I don't know Look at that. Is that a full a fully grown Lazarus plant? What's that? My god. Look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only. What's what's happening? Captain, are you seeing this? Oh! What? Leeches are terramorphs. What? But no, it can't be true. Heat leeches are everywhere. They live everywhere. That means terramorphs. 
Oh my god. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. No, no. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then with time they transform. We we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. Wait. So so Vevictis new. Vevictis new heat leeches are baby terramorphs. Is that why he 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 ordered to bomb the Londinian spaceport? But why didn't he tell everyone else that he knew about the truth, you know, that he knew the truth about heat leeches? What? What we just witnessed? That can't be how all terramorphs are born, right? No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible. Okay, so heat leeches eventually will grow up to become terramorphs. But the Lazarus plants accelerate that growth. What? What does this mean for the plans to clean up the terramorphs? That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbes should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Achilles will have to look into. But given what we know about the creatures, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. Nothing natural should be able to do that. This feels like a pretty major discovery. Nothing natural should be able to do that. I am sincerely inclined to agree, but current evidence suggests nature manages it just fine. Okay. The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means, if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city, or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. And then? Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? Hold on. Someone can sneak in multiple heat leeches into a city. But they require the Lazarus plant to accelerate the growth, right? Without the Lazarus plant, it will take time for them to grow. And Lazarus plant cannot be cultivated anywhere else but Londinian. Unless someone or some people playing the long game, they plant multiple leeches in various locations and then wait for years until they mature into a terramorph. This could be weaponized. A new way Can't believe it. A new way of waging Xeno warfare. All factions will want to have their hands on this. You see Freestar, House Varun, maybe even Ecliptic because they show interest in Unit 99, the Siren. Maybe even the pirates. Maybe they're going to start rounding up and selling heat leeches. You know, uh, to trade them as a, as a weapon commodity. All this time, people have been killing heat leeches because they were regarded as pests for ships. But if people find out, they're I'm going to start. Myself. They're going to start rounding up, collecting, or even breed heat leeches, and then sell them as weapons. But whoever decides to use them as weapons must be willing to play the long game, because Lazarus plant, which accelerates the heat leeches' growth into a terramorph cannot be cultivated anywhere else 
other than Londinian. However, what if there is a time span for the Lazarus plant after it got plucked from the ground of Londinion and then before before it you dies know. out? You okay, Captain? If there is a reasonable amount of time for a Lazarus plant to stay alive after after getting plucked from the ground of Londinion, then yeah, this is going to be yeah, this is going to be I mean if if that's possible, then people who wants to weaponize uh terramors, they don't need to they don't have to play the long game. They can, but they don't have to. They just have to send uh s some agents or collectors to to pluck the Lazarus plants from Londinian to be used elsewhere alongside the heat leeches. Interesting. Can't believe it. Given what we just witnessed, it's certainly plausible. I can't imagine what it would take to pull something like that off. Given what we just witnessed, it's certainly plausible. But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing, get after it! Oh no, Percival's angry. Go! Kill the terror morph. Ah, hit leeches. The things we know as pests are baby terror morphs. Wait, hold on. Is there another way? Maybe there's another door? I want to take a look at the at the fully grown Lazarus plant up close. Is there a way to enter this room? No, no door. Okay. Why did they call it the Lazarus plant in the first place? Who named it? Let's do oh. Seti attacks, right? Uploading them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? A new era of Xeno warfare. Hold on, so if they were using Lazarus plans to trigger the attack uh, in New Atlantis, that means what I was saying was right. Lazarus plans can only be cultivated in Londinian, but that doesn't mean it cannot be transported somewhere else once it has once it has grown. Ah, interesting. I want to hear it from you. I think someone figured out how to use the Lazarus plant to trigger terramorph attacks. A bioweapon no one would recognize as one. Oh, that's a terrifying prospect. Sort of thing that'll keep you up at night. 
And the sort of thing whoever did this probably didn't expect us to uncover. Makes some sense, actually. Tao said he was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Hmm. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. But didn't you say this plant can't grow anywhere but here? It can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. Okay, so someone found a way to cultivate the plant outside Londinian. S someone with, with lots of resources to test and make this happen. You know, to do all the testings, the trials, the the transport, the facilities, everything. Someone who is who has a lot of resources, money, and other stuff. Huh. I thought I guess it might be possible. I thought the timings of those terror motors showing up was suspicious. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Hmm, I don't know. Freestar is a possibility because they because you see and Freestar are enemies, right? I've got some ideas, but it's far from responsible to just start hurling accusations. Commander Hatum or one of her soldiers, they're the most likely to know about this. It was House Varun, trust me, those guys are the worst. Maybe some independent group like Ecliptic, they're always looking for firepower. Your dad's still alive and has shown he doesn't care much about life's loss. Maybe he's involved. I honestly have no idea. You... you okay, Captain? Hold on. If... if Vevictis is involved, why would he help Darko and Hadrian to get to the bottom of this? That doesn't make sense. If... if he is responsible, he wouldn't help, you know, he wouldn't help, uh... Oh, damn it, Dr. Reginald Orlais. The data he tried to erase, it was only partially erased. In his, on his terminal, there are two messages. One, tipping him off about Darko coming to get him, Can't right? And the other message is th is thanking Reginald about the delivery. Maybe it was Reginald who collected the hit leeches and the Lazarus plants and then delivered it to someone. So, is that the reason why Vevictis wanted us to hunt down Reginald? Maybe, maybe he knew that Reginald was involved. The question is, if if this is true, who was Reginald working for? Again, I don't, I don't think it's Vevictis who is responsible. Why would he help us to uncover I'm a everything? Myself. Why would he help us in stopping the terror morphs? He wouldn't help us, right? I've got some ideas, but it's far from responsible to just hurling, to just start hurling accusations. Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're going to do anything to prevent more terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser? 
Get us into the spaceport? The entrance is this way. Okay, this is it. The Lazarus plan up close. Wait, this looks like an artificial habitat for the Lazarus plant. So someone is researching or was researching the Lazarus plant, I think. And this is the observation room. Someone was already researching the heat leeches and the terror morph and the Lazarus plant interesting interesting Chunks, girl bank, Terra Brew coffee. Here? 
Didn't think he'd have the guts to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! It just... transformed. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after my evaluation, they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties? Yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. He knew, but it doesn't mean he's the one responsible for the attack at Tau Ceti and New Atlantis, right? I mean, if he was responsible, why would he help us? Doesn't make sense. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret, didn't he? There were plenty of reasons he could have ordered the bombing. The terror morph outbreak, for example. You heard that recording. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... I don't know. How should I... How should I respond? Someone who thought keeping the secret would save lives? sound like a miscalculation but in reality it was an unmitigated disaster and look where we are now oh, some secret a calculated loss the soldiers for the rest of the galaxy that sounds exactly like what my father would do but it doesn't it can't justify slaughter but if the plant was used to trigger the attacks could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? Then why would he help us? Doesn't make sense. That's not possible. They keep him under tight control. And there's no one he's in contact with that could help him on the outside? The recovery team? He got a hold of you, didn't he? Not tight enough, apparently. He's played everyone for fools and repeated his crimes. Ugh, that's what the UC gets for keeping him alive. But I guess we're not getting any more answers right now. Come on, let's go get that last sample. We're gonna have plenty to discuss once we get out of here. Stay sharp. No contacts. No contacts. Londinian spaceport location discovered.
No, what? Just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. Look at all of you, back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Is the plan going to still work now that we've got to clean up heat leeches and terror motives? Can't be positive until we run some tests. But knowing that the Terramors have been masquerading as heat leeches all this time is a big find. Arguably makes things more feasible, now that we know what we're dealing with, not less. Agreed. Plus, I don't think you're gonna have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Sure did. Kaiser has got all the samples in storage. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, we can't rule him out. Vey Victis is alive and under UC custody. I'm sorry, what? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, 
Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. I still think that Ve Victus wasn't responsible. You really think it was him? Plenty of people out there with grudges against the UC, but he's the only one we know had any knowledge of the Lazarus plant. So right now, it's the only option we've got. Will you do it? Do you want to come speak to him with me? Captain, I truly don't. He's already shown he's taken an interest in you. I'll be a lot more useful in the lab right now than I would be grilling Francois. So do you think you could do it? Please? I'll do what I can. He's not exactly a trustworthy source. Whatever you can turn up is more than we have now. We'll all meet back at mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. If something's on your mind, you can tell me. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. See you soon, love. Well, hello, sunshine. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, oh, I miss talking to you already. These samples are going to change the galaxy for the better. So someone's figured out how to use the Terramorphs as weapons. Thought we'd learned our lesson. Terramorphs are heat leeches. Considering what else we found, that might be the least surprising discovery of the day. So someone's figured out how to use the Terramorphs as weapons. We'll meet outside the cabinet chamber. We've got a lot to do before we speak to the cabinet. Let's talk at mast. Vavik just knew. Now it's up to you to find out what he did with that knowledge. Vavik just knew. Now it's up to you to find out what he did with that knowledge. Whatever you need, you got it. Glad to haul whatever you need. Done talking already. Should I tell uh, Sarah Hatum about what happened in the spaceport? Do keep in mind our status on this world. Outside these walls, there be dragons. I hope to learn someday what exactly your little endeavor was. Sensors picked up quite a ruckus over at the old spaceport. I presume that was your doing. I hope to learn someday what exactly your little endeavor was. Do keep in mind our status on this world. 
Outside these walls, there be dragons. What's happening, darling? I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Don't stay away too long. Oh, you want to take a nap? Okay. Yes. Doc Rose, a full checkup, please. Clean. Listen up everyone, Terramores are grown hit leeches, scour the ship, find and kill any hit leeches. Okay, so Sarah wants Darko to take a nap, wants her, Sarah wants Darko and her to take a nap, so Darko should oblige, maybe? One hour or two hour? Two hour maybe. One of these days we need to actually get some sleep after going to bed. Take a shower. Yes? Is something amiss? Is it true you're hunting down Okay, replenish. We're just leaving, sir. Scan complete. 
You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? Top of Mast? Really? You'll be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep... Okay. Let's hear the truth. I still don't think Vevictis was responsible for the attack. He knew about the hit leeches and the Lazarus plant. But the attack wasn't his, I think. Authorized personnel only. has to stay here. I don't know. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? I haven't been to Londinian in many years. Why? Is there some way I could be of assistance? Were you able to recover what you were looking for? Oh, we did. And a whole lot more. Good news then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramors, no? We found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramors as a weapon. Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the Cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. So you really don't know anything about the attacks? Is that what you're claiming? Of course. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what you're describing? So I'd very much appreciate your agreement to not share what you found. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to conclusions now, would we? Sorry, I'm telling the cabinet what we learn. Consider this your chance to come clean. <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words, then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. 
Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Hmm. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Associate, who have you been working with? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. So why would someone like me go through all this trouble? No better way to show the UC what a deadly weapon they have in the Lazarus plant than to use it. You didn't even trust your own people in the UC. These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Londinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death? It was the only option that made sense at the time. That information should have been handed over, secured it to keep it from ever being used. You just said it took you years to use the plant outside Londinian. You killed them for nothing. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. Ah. Oh. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Oh, so he's doing this to help Hadrian become a hero, and also to... I don't know, to carry favor himself, uh, and, and, and also for him to carry favor, uh, I mean, to earn the trust of the UC. He is hoping that maybe by helping us, the UC will elevate him to a, to a higher position. Or involve him in many other things. Mm, you I see. My undivided attention. Orlais, why does that name sound familiar? 
Oh, come on, Darko. Can't remember the many lives you've taken. <laughs> Orlaze was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of Etheria. The pilot of the Warlock. The man I had to eliminate. To hide my secret. How could you, how could you have coordinated all this from in here? It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you're actually dealing with. Slow work. <laughs> but as you can see, ultimately effective. And why the hell do you care if the UC wants you as an advisor? Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He wants to elevate his position with the UC as well as helping Hadrian. Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. So you murdered the UC citizens because of some slight against your honor? You're sick. Did you did you not hear what he is saying, Darko? He's not he's he's doing this because he has a dream of living outside the walls. He wants to be an advisor to the UC. He wants to not be here anymore, not simply a matter of honor. So you murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honor, you're sick. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Wait, what? So when they say a citizen can buy property, they mean it's in a, it's in a different place, not in New Atlantis? Wait, the well is, a, is, a, is in a different place, right? I think I heard someone, an NPC, said they grew up in the well. It was it was rough. Who who said that? I forgot though. Who said that? He said it was it was a guy. He said he grew up in the well. It was rough. Who was it? Ah, Marcus Lestari. Marcus Lestari. So wait, is the well? A different place or in New Atlantis how many how many big cities uh, does UC have what kind of owners are we talking here <laughs> something befitting the dedication to the colonies you two have shown while of course they can't give you a command responsibility like that has to be earned the cabinet does have access to considerable resources. I expect you'll be quite pleased with the result. And none of it would have happened without my intervention.
If you're waiting for me to say thank you, we're going to be here a while. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaza's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaze and Orlaze alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Long list of threats to the UC, and I assume he has no qualms about sacrificing civilians in dealing with these UC threats. This guy is dangerous. What kind of work are we talking about here? Hunting down criminals and other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free range once this is all over. You would help me, like you did with Orlais. Track them down and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible though, if the cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. Hunting down crim- I expect they'll give- You would help me, like you did with Orlais. Track them down and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible though, if the cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. So what he's saying is, if we help him, he's going to give us more missions? Really? Okay. You think I'm just going to forget the fact that you killed people to accomplish your good works? And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same, and leave my name out of the discussions to come. You know, I, I hope you've enjoyed this talk, because once I tell the cabinet, it'll probably be your last. Wait, if I say this, can I still choose to help him? Because I'm, I'm still thinking, you know. How on earth did you manage to deploy the Lazarus plant on New Atlantis? Once we'd cracked synthesizing the Lazarus plant's pollen, research that took years in and of itself, the attacks were exceedingly simple. Or Laser's ship would land on our target, bearing a few heat leeches, nothing that would raise suspicion. Then Lazarus pollen was pumped out of the ship during liftoff from the planet's surface. Shortly thereafter, an attack. A strike perpetrated in mere moments, with no one being the wiser. Which is why the work you and Hadrian are doing now, the work I've put into motion, is so critical. Could someone else synthesize the Lazarus pollen? Could they recreate what you and Orlais have done? Why, that's the very problem. Harvesting the pollen directly is impossible. Too fragile to leave Londinian's atmosphere. But, with sufficient time and resources, a large entity like the UC or Freestar Collective could learn to synthesize the pollen, turning the Lazarus plant into a bioweapon unlike anything the galaxy has ever seen. Thus why the Terramorphs need to be dealt with. It wasn't solely for the benefit of the Sanan name that I organized the attacks. Our work will protect many lives. Okay, so the, so, so, the, so the Tau Seti attack was a test run. 
you deliberately decide decided to kill those colonists they were just people they wanted to have a good life a good future that's why they invested in the meat packing plant they had they had it they they had something good and you destroyed their lives Bide their time then their lives their dreams and their families that they left i don't know if if this happened to darko i'm not sure darko would be able to forgive uh vevictis i wanted to ask during the outbreak why not try to evacuate the londinian why blow the spaceport we were in the middle of an all out war captain committing ships to save the city would have left another undefended which city would you prefer i'd sacrificed sidonia gagarin new atlantis and if anyone else had learned about the lazarus plant well the risk was too great i weighed the options and made the call if anyone's going to know this it's you why did the uc lose the colony war i'll tell you why because the uc was and is full of people unwilling to pay the price required for victory in the last days of the war the uc was on the precipice of executing a final great assault on the free star collective home system of cheyenne a massive strike capable of obliterating free star central command and ending the conflict that long last why wait so long why not just not cut the leadership early and be done with it i thought i'd had myself but such invasions are costly in resources and lives others in the uc believed the blockade would be sufficient to bring the free star collective to its knees but they were wrong So instead, they sacrificed far more lives in a protracted war rather than doing the right thing from the start and demolishing the Free Star Capital when they had the chance. Free Star Capital, Aquila. I'm guessing things didn't go according to plan. You'd be right. Everything was in place. But just before we could launch the strike, word came from Londinian. The terremorph outbreak had begun. I went to the city to assess the state of things and discovered the Lazarus plan. We couldn't spare ships for a proper quarantine. So it was my decision to destroy the spaceport and seal off the city. Deal with it quickly so we could get back to winning the war. If you were able to get in, why couldn't you get the citizens of Londinian out? wouldn't want all those innocent lives distracting your from your galactic war you joke but the scale we were working that's precisely what it was a distraction and i dealt with it as such quickly definitively the only reasonable solution so upon my return from undinian we proceeded with our killing blow initially we had great success against the mess the free star collective called the navy But then the Free Star citizenry decided to get involved. Dozens of civilian ships jumping in to shield their military counterparts. I of course had no trouble firing on what should have been designated enemy vessels, but my peers had lost the stomach for it. So many lives lost already they wailed. So the great UC Navy was routed by a mob. They picked our ships apart. The UC surrendered not long after. And thus rang the death knell for the great UC. Sounds like the only person you have to blame for the UC's defeat is yourself. B 
bested by civilians. Ironic, considering the civilians you sacrificed on Londinian. It's human nature to see patterns, even when there are none. What ended the colony war was cowardice. Nothing less. I'll tell you why. In the last day, a massive... But just before, I went to the city to assess the... We couldn't spare ship. So upon my... Re but then the free... St I, of course, had no... Tr but my peers, they picked our ships... Okay, what should I do? Uh... Help Vevictis cover cover his involvement or tell the cabinet but he said if we help him he's he's going to give us more more missions right i do want more more missions but i don't know for you when you have a moment if something's on your mind you can tell me. oh yes of course I almost forgot hmm maybe if you're lucky we'll talk again later <laughs> she is really horny eh? Going to be a hell of a meeting up there. Of that, I have no doubt. Real curious to know what you turned up. Good news on our end. I'll let Hadrian give you the details. Real curious to know what you turned up. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Uh, should I help him or not? Uh, but but I do want more more missions though. Okay, so Vevictis doesn't have qualms about sacrificing civilians in order to achieve his mission. And this is what worries Darko. Darko has parents. Parents that he loves. Captain? Captain, please, go on. There's also Sarah, right? And other people he care about. He cares about. So, he's deep down inside, he's worried that if he allows the victims to continue with his antics, what if in the future that one of the victims' plans affected his own parents or Sarah? Or people he care he cares about. What if it affected Sona, or the or the constellation, other stuff, right? So, yeah, he is Don't worried. Don't me in suspense. He is worried about his loved ones, uh, to help cover up Vevictis's involvement. Vevictis confess he organized the attacks from his cell. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? He 
He said he was trying to fix the damage done to the son on name, make you and him into heroes. <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. So you're telling us that the attack on New Atlantis was Ve Victus's responsibility, just like the dooming of Londinian. Oh, that's insane. And Tau Seti. Oh, that. Just to help restore the family name. How did he ever think that was going to work? Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. What do you think that what do you think the cabinet will do to him? My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. He asked we leave out his involvement in the attacks, says to consider the lives he's helped save. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet wait, see if they have a preference. So both approaches to clearing our worlds are effective against heat leeches? They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch him. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> angry spaghetti. What kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back the Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so... The risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. And also, by using the Asilis, we are going to add one more food source for humans, right? Because, yeah, because humans did eat Aselis before they supposedly died out. Or thought to die out. What do you think the cabinet will do when they learn about Ve Victis' involvement in the attacks? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. Nothing else on my end. Let's head in there. And here we go. And who knows? Maybe if we, if we report Ve Victis to the cabinet, maybe he'll make us his enemy, and maybe he has still. He still has sympathizers within the UC, the UC, and maybe in the future he'll he'll send agents to kill us. That would be nice gameplay, right? Assuming it's like that. Hello. The 
Jeremiah Sarkin. Uh, platforms over there. So what? Stage fright. Wouldn't blame you. Uh, platforms over there. Upsana Kulkarni. Wrong spot, Captain. Presenter should be on the platform. Wrong spot, Captain. President Ab- Alexandra Abeu. Just step onto the platform and we can begin. I'd really appreciate it if we could get started. Chief Diplomat Soliman Yasin. I would like to begin in this geological era. What are you doing here? You know how this is done. What are you doing here? You know how this is done. Admiral Pasqual Logan. You have done this once before, haven't you? Let's get started, shall we? Let's get started, shall we? By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Aren't you supposed to be up on the platform? Not the person you're supposed to be talking to right now. I'm on duty. Aren't you supposed to be up on the platform? Something else you wanted to discuss? Glad they're willing to listen, but I'm going to leave most of the talking to you two. Captain is going to want to hear all of this. Guess it's time. Glad they're willing to listen, but I'm going to leave most of the talking to you two. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Is that second report from who I think it's from? This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? That's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. <laughs> so then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Adrian, I think you should tell them. Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! <laughs> I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Why would I make up something like that? <laughs> I can think of numerous reasons why someone, after learning Ve Victus is still alive, might want to correct that. So I'm not going to accept such a stunning claim without proof. Play emergency recorder snippet. It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. I, I, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain. We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. 
Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Ve Victus sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. What's going to happen to him? That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. Can you ensure he has no more outside contacts? He used UC functionaries to get his messages out. That's... That's truly disconcerting to hear. But cutting off Ve Victus' contact with the outside world is likely to be just the beginning of his punishment. I don't think so. I think Ve Victus has a lot of sympathizers within the UC. Inside Mast and field agents outside Mast. I think he's still going to have his network. How is he going to do it? I don't know. Ma'am, I would request his life be spared. He did help us against the terror morphs after all. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency. But I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian, all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Unless, unless Darko decided to go mercenary and tell this information to the highest bidder, or maybe to Free Star, you know? I mean, if you see the only faction to know about this, it's going to give them an advantage in case in the future they decided to restart their Xeno Warfare division, right? But by giving this information to other factions like Freestar and perhaps House Varun as well, everyone is on a everyone is relatively on the same level playing field. If everyone is relatively on the same We're level playing you, if every faction is a relative is relatively on the same level playing field that means lower chance lower chance of a war breaking out because one side wants to dominate the other right so advantages for all means low chance of conflict breaking out i think i don't know because because if a, because if one faction wants to invade another faction if the other faction is as strong as them the invading faction would would think twice thrice whatever These how are topics of the utmost importance take your time however many times they need to think and rethink their plans for invasion will we succeed and if we succeed, how many casualties and resources lost? What if we fail? We lost resources and casualties, and then the enemy might turn the tide back on us. Stuff, stuff like that, right? So I think Darko should inform both the Freestar and House Varun. And perhaps, yeah, just those three factions, I guess. I don't know. I mean... I don't think Darko should tell the pirates about this, right? <sighs> what sort of Get measures? And let's continue. What sort of measures will the UC be taking to protect the Lazarus plant? Well, 
Luckily, the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our troop presence on Londinian is increased. What if... What if Reginald Orlis, or V. Victis, has already spread the formula to synthesize the Lazarus pollen. What if, as a final act of revenge, you know, because we refused to help him, he unleashed the information widespread all over the settled systems before the UC had a chance to cut his communication off. Then everyone in the settled system will have the formula to synthesize the Lazarus pollen, and then... These are topics of the utmost importance. Take your time. It's going to be a new era of Xeno warfare, where not only the big factions have access to use terramorphs, but also pirates, spacers, ecliptic, other mercenary bands, colonists, homesteaders, list league of independent settlers whatever the only reason why i know about list because one of the loading screen talks about it list league of independent settlers ma'am i believe the other Gather factions and let's continue Ma'am, I believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Ah, yeah. This is... This fits with Darko's original plan. To allow the means to create terramorph weapons be available to other factions, not just the UC. Maintain the relatively... To maintain the relatively even playing field between the bigger major factions right ma'am i believe the other factions should be involved in securing the lazarus plant tell the freestar collective wow so they have another tool to utilize against us i'm in agreement i fail to see the value here we're waiting on you captain the value is, Darko has a secret agenda. He feels uncomfortable that only one faction knows the secret how to weaponize Terramorph. He wants the major factions to know. Why? Like I said, to maintain the relatively even playing field amongst the major factions. To, to keep the chance of any one faction desiring to make war for conquest, low. We're waiting on you, Captain. The UC doesn't exactly have the best track record. This would ensure good behavior from both sides. That's true. With all the mistakes and the deception that's been going on, the UC has an obligation to be as open and honest as possible. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No. I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. 
but we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Also, the reason why... An, uh, another reason why Darko wants all the major factions to know about Heat Leeches, Terramorph, and the Lazarus Pollen. Because it's a very easy weapon to make. Fast. It's, it's fast to make and very difficult to detect. So the, the, the possibility of widespread chaos and destruction with the Terramorph Xeno weapons is on an extreme level. That's why he believes all major factions should have access to it. Gather your thoughts and let's continue. Keeping each other in check. Like nuclear weapons, if only, I assure you, if, if only one country have nuclear weapons, that country will do whatever the fuck it wants to other countries under the threats, uh, with the threat of nuclear strikes. But if more than one have it, then it's not so easy for any single country with nuclear weapons to decide, launch, strike. The same is true also for terror morphs. I think. I don't know. Do we need to do anything? Shouldn't securing the Lazarus plant of the utmost importance. be Take sufficient? I believe we have a responsibility to do something, yes. Heavens forbid. Years from now, someone reopens the Pandora's box that Vavictus discovered. It falls to us to enact every measure required to ensure that day never comes. I still had questions about the methods. Please, ask. What are the dangers of bringing back the Asilis? I can feel this one. While intimidating creatures, certainly, Asilis are docile and less provoked. They're honestly closer to oversized mobile scanners than deadly predators. The concern is that, while all proposed methods will be long-term efforts, the Asilis are the slowest. Slow to breed, slow to deploy. We do everything we could to accelerate that process, including mustering some of our mothballed cloning technologies. But if we do elect to use this method, we'll be doing things at the pace of a megafauna, which is not an expedient one. What are the chances, really, that this microbe could cause problems to humans and other species? Infinitesimally low. But not zero. <laughs> the chance of a starship landing on you as you sit here isn't zero, yet you still attend it. Personally, my fear isn't mutation, but Terramorphs developing a resistance. But that's something our group can continue to address if we decide to take this approach, as I believe we should. Will the other factions be involved in the cleanup efforts as well? This won't work without them. Exactly right, ma'am. The Interstellar Affairs Office has already begun reaching out to Worlds throughout the settled systems, informing them of the risks we're all facing, and that the UC has a plan to prevent what happened on New Atlantis from happening elsewhere. Thus far, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The spirit of mutual cooperation displayed between the UC and the Freestar Collective in managing the Terramorph data set a good tone for the work we're doing, Captain. 
We expect we'll hit some resistance, but our office has plenty of carrots and sticks to ensure the program's widespread success. Who exactly is doing all this work, deploying whichever method we choose here? The responsibilities will be spread across multiple branches of the UC. Research and day-to-day -day administration will be handled by a new group under the Science Division. All diplomatic concerns and coordination will fall to Chief Yassin and Interstellar Affairs. But most of the actual on-the-ground work, that'll be handled by the Vanguard. I don't have any other questions. Very well. Then did you have a preference on the method we should deploy? Deploying the Aselis is the safest route. That's my vote. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. Here's hoping they'll be kept on a short leash. That, madam, is most certainly the plan. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Wait, Class One? So citizens have different level of class... have... So, so, so there's different levels of citizenship. What's a class one citizen? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. Penthouse. Thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. And as a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you, Captain, will have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, Plus, help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Okay. Citizen Class One. Not bad for you and Hadrian doing all the hard work. <laughs> now, with the easy part out of the way, you can get started on the hard stuff. Once you've checked in with your Vanguard boss, come find me on Mars. Could use someone with your particular skill set. Once you've checked in with your Vanguard boss, come find me on Mars. Could use someone with your particular skill set. Well, I'm glad you saw the obvious issues with that plan as well. Well, at least our perpetrator won't be hurting anyone else. A good find, Captain. We all have our tasks, Captain. Best we get to them. If I ever see another heat leech, it'll be too soon. When the galaxy learns the truth about heat leeches, they're gonna be begging for our help. And we have plenty of tools to convince the stubborn. Creating some Franken microbe to wipe out the terramorphs. I've been tasked with ensuring the whole galaxy knows about the terramorph threat. I believe this is your doing. Well done, Captain. Just remember, Captain, the name of the game is discretion. Good luck on your endeavors, Captain. Well, at least I can say I knew you when. I've been tasked with ensuring the whole galaxy. Well, at least I can say I knew you when.
How are they? Strategic asset. More like a financial black hole. I don't know why we keep funding that. Oh, Radcliffe's requests are so over the top. Is she just toying with us? Oh, Ambassador Radcliffe. Just once they could assign me to Neon. That's not too much to ask. Need to make sure all of those reports are annotated by the end of the day. Oh, we should just close out the Varun files. Waste the drive space. The Chief is never going to approve this deal. Wonder if I can propose some alternatives. He said what? Oh, that's going to set back negotiations. Oh, McIntyre's going to have my ass if I can't find that file. Where's the background research on that guy? I know we sent someone to look into it. Why can't they just sign off on the quarterly budget already? Oh, Radcliffe's requests are so over the top. Is she just toying with us? Yes? We should just close out the Varun files. Waste of drive space. Vanguard sure got lucky snagging you. What is it your group says? Supra et ultra? Yeah. Well, you went way supra et ultra. No official business scheduled for the cabinet chambers right now, but I'm not about to tell a class one citizen they can't go in. <laughs> no official business scheduled for the cabinet chambers right now, but I'm not about to tell a class one citizen they can't go in. Financial black hole. I don't know why we keep funding that. Okay, so I'm on this floor, right? Wait, what is my next mission? Oh, Sergeant Yumi? What? Speak to Agent Plato. Oh, this is from... Sergeant Yumi, right? Due to staffing issues, Sergeant Yumi has asked me to work as a part-time security officer. For my first job, I need to talk to Agent Plato over at Mast. Defense research. Okay. Okay, that's it for now.